Hi Chike, welcome to the show. Thank uh, you so much. In Nairobi, Kenya. Where are you at? I'm Lagos, Nigeria. How are you feeling? I'm chill. I'm all right. Uh -huh. Hot day. Hot day. What today. has Chicken been up to this last few months? He has been promoting um, my song, running, going around Nigeria, performing. Yes. Um, and around the world too. Mm -hmm. Running is an amazing song with Simi. You guys have done so well. So how was it making this song? And um, did you anticipate this uh, reception that it has received? I didn't think it received this much reception. You know, I knew it was a good song. I, I always try to make sure anything I put out is a good song. Mm -hmm. You know, it can't fall short of an actual good song, a song you can actually listen to and have some meaning attached to it. Yes. You know, but with the way it performed, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm kind of surprised to you. Mm. Did you get any inspiration from Beyonce's Running? It sounds similar. Yeah. Running. To what song? Running by Beyonce. What song? Can you sing it? Running, 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 running for myself no more. Na, 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 na. Oh, I know that song. No more. Yeah, I think Was I know it. Part of the inspiration because it sounds similar uh, when you say the running part. Yeah, but you know, you know, there's nothing apparent, um, totally brand new under the sun anymore. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, if if there's a similarity, I don't know. There probably is, and I mean, if it it it, it no, no 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 definitely wasn't inspired from that at all mm -hmm. tell us who are the artists that you look up to or they inspire you in uh, your music career i look up to different people for different reasons i mostly look up to people who i'm fascinated by their writing mm -hmm. mostly because i mean that's a that's a specific part of my creative process um i love tracy chapman i love passenger I mean, I love Dolly Patton. Like I said, it's not even about the style of the music for me. It's yeah. just about the words, about how they think, you know, how they address certain issues and how, yeah. you know, but for me, I try not to go too deep. I try to water it down just a little. Tracy and Passenger and Dolly Patton are very good music influences. Um, let's talk about, you mentioned some writing and what is the best part about uh, writing your own lyrics? Say whatever I want. <laughs> you get and to voice out what you want. Yes, this part. But one of the interesting parts is also when I have to, you know, try and say things in in funky ways. You know, just so it's more interesting. So I try it out. You know, am mm -hmm. I saying nakupenda? I'm, I can say nakupenda or naka, you know, just different things. Just yeah, you know, or just I, just, I just play with different things. Yeah, yeah pretty much nakupenda pia. Your album. Boo of the Booless. Uh, yeah. What what was the process creating this album, and what is your favorite song on the album? The song's pretty much first. I'll answer that from the back. I do have no favorites because they are all my songs. Then the next question is <laughs> the process. I mean, I aimed for singles to be honest, but when that when when I was trying to put out singles, I just felt like if I kept putting out singles and promoting singles, you know, at some point I was going to run out of the finances to keep mm -hmm. doing that. It's, I mean, that wasn't so much at the time. It's not like, maybe like say you choke now, you never choke, but so it's still all right. Um, yeah. So um, so I decided last minute, we decided to just put the songs together, turn it on album, mm -hmm. pretty much. So what is next for Chike? Uh, you know, my second studio album, I'm working on collaborations with artists, you know, across Africa, across the world. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't wait to see how that goes, to be honest. So, you know, I get a bit nervous sometimes. But... I know you started out doing singing competitions. What are the lessons that you've learned from the singing competitions? Pretty much I got confidence from that. That's one thing I got, is confidence. That's, that's a summary. Confidence. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a, a pre-class kind of, of how to manage, you know, fandom, fans. And because with that, you know, you come out with a couple of fans and you're, you know, I was happy because I was able to relate with them, know how to manage it, you know, before it became what it is now. What is the one thing you'd never do as a musician? Um, I, I, I don't see myself chasing clout. 
even when the temptation comes, I think I'm grounded enough to advise that, okay, why are you doing this? Are you doing this for natural reason? Mm-hmm. Or you're just chasing clout? Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, if I do stuff to get attention to my music, that's different. I mean, especially if I'm advertising music. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there's still guidelines between advertisement and cloud chasing. And you started uh, computer engineering. And have you been able to use this uh, skills that you've learned? I've not been able to use that anywhere. I mean, I think, it, you know, education, to be honest, and school, in quotes, you know, kind of, it just, it just gives you a certain level of standard and expectation of how to behave, of how to process things, on, on how to ap- approach things that you both understand and things that you don't understand. So I'll say that the education for me, have, you know, is one I'm happy I got, you know, because it, it's helped me, you know, see things from, from a respectful point of view. One last question is, besides your music, what else are you passionate about? Yeah, I've been passionate about making money, man. I just do anything that, anything within the law, you know, that enables me to make money. So recently I've been looking at opportunities. I mean, I know whoever is reading this interview that was wants to hear about music and not about my business duties, but mm-hmm. well, you know, I know that, you know, recently I'm looking at opportunities that are going to make me, you know, a billionaire, you know, because I don't, I, I want to be able to look at my music as just a part of me yeah. and not what determines everything that I do or how I live my life. Um, lastly, what is the one uh, piece of advice that you'd give to an upcoming musician? What I would say really is remember that nobody owes you anything. Remember that nobody is just going to miraculously appear and change your life. And, you know, keep doing your art. To be honest, it is good enough. People will vibe to it. People will talk about it. And to be honest, if it's not good enough, I don't know. I mean, the question is, does it make you happy? Does it make you feel fulfilled? Does it make you feel like you're, you're giving your best to the world? You're leaving a mark. And if it does, your happiness should come uh, you know above other people's thank you so much Chike, for being on the source thank you, um, thank you so much can you listen for us uh, a bit of running anybody we will fight you send me that come they already know i'll be right beside you like the wall of jericho they don't know they don't know they don't know what's going on I'll be running to you, running, running, running to you. Anywhere that you go to. Chike, the bull of the bullets. Yes, the kruna, the running kruna. Um, thank you so much for watching The Source. And click the subscribe. Man, I come there already, no.